wee bit and tighten my head on here there we go got my headband on tight I'm hoping this will work um, I'd like to take this tree here's the tree turn right I'd like to take it up that way toward my path but it's leaning got a lot of lean <laughs> and uh, I don't want to hit that white oak. I don't want to scar it up. And we're going to walk out here and look at the lean. It's got quite a bit. And what you want to do with a, a snag, if you can, is get, get where there's no side lean. And that's that direction, right with the shadow of the tree. That's where we're going. Anyway, we're going to walk over here 90 degrees to that and look at it with the plum. And look at that lean always good to look at your lean so we get out here just turn around okay find the tree with the orange flagging you see the one with the orange flagging there there we go now you can see knock us out there we go now we can see okay there's the one with the orange flagging this is about 90 degrees to where we'll take it and when i hang a plum out there you can see how that tree departs from vertical so leaning pretty hard right now we'll go down here on the track where i will attempt to lay it and we'll look back and see if we can look back without looking right into the sun see there we're getting right on the shadow okay I've got the Sun right behind that tree and you can you see the orange flagging there hold that up and there's is pretty darn vertical it's got a little bit of side weight with the part of the crown that hasn't broken off up there so we're gonna lay it right down its shadow and it goes right out this way Okie doke. So we're going to go back here and do a quick exam and see how we're going to set up our front and back cuts. I didn't bring my regular stick. I brought this axe, but it's got numbers on the side. So we got some rot here. I'm hoping it's nice and dry inside. Okay, that's... Okay, that's a, a good, just a 16 inch tree. You need about a 13 inch long hinge. And the hinge needs to go right here. I'll put the hinge from about here to here. Top cut, bottom cut, hinge from about there to there. And we'll punch it. I got my 24 inch bar. We can punch it real easy. I may, I'll slice this off over here, make sure I get through. I'll slice off that extra over here after I make that front cut so punch it and try to have a hinge about one and a half inches thick and cut out the back and she'll fall and my escape routes 135 off of that my escape route needs to go back that way so there's that 90 degrees is here I need to go that way so I go up the hill to that white oak because my escape route, nice clear path. Okie doke, put my ears up, ears down, and we'll get to work.
I don't know if you could sense that, but as I was punching that tree, it is hollow. I was pushing that through, and it pushed through way too easy. Okay, I've got about two and a half inches over here, so I'm going to pull the saw out and lessen that side up just a bit. This side I've got about an inch and a half, two inches. I'm just going to lessen that up a little bit and then go right on out the back. got her on the ground oh boy <laughs> that was a good one let's take a look at this I didn't want to bring that hinge down too thin I wasn't sure how just how rotten it was but uh, you could feel that we could hear that when I thumped it and we could feel it and you could see it on the swell you can see how that tree swelled at the butt so you know with the swelling sounded dead I kind of half expected it to be hollow I wasn't sure if it was punk or hollow but it was hollow and you could feel that when that saw hit that it just slid right through so that was pretty cool and you can see my cutting pattern you see where the saw went through there and where it cut back here so that was nice and straightforward and uh, gave us plenty of time to get away from it. Okay, dope. Well, now I just got to move my buggy down there and start chopping firewood off the top end. So thank you for visiting. These, uh, these things don't take too long if you make a plan so you don't get in trouble. So remember that. Uh, check your lean. Pick an aiming spot. Design your front cut so you get the right length. Design your back cut. In this case, it was just punched straight through. And then go out the back and then escape route. So uh, just do that on every tree and you should, should get along fine. Well, thank you for visiting. We'll catch you all later. <laughs> Mm-hmm.